information, news, and entertainment on demand. Welcome to OCC Balance, the weight loss show with Dr. Ariel Ortiz. Yes, it is me, Dr. Ortiz. I am a bariatric surgeon, a weight loss surgeon, and I've been performing surgery on obese patients for two decades. And when I started, I was pretty young. Uh, I was 30 years old and I would see some patients. But interestingly enough, uh, since six out of 10 people are overweight or obese in many countries, well, I gotta tell you, talk about job security. But yeah, that's not my intention. My intention is not to be performing surgery on everybody. I mean, uh, I really believe we didn't screw up our stomachs or, or, or I'm fixing something. I believe we screwed up our environment. And I believe uh, thoroughly that we've been misinformed for many years. And today we have the source of wisdom who will bring knowledge and understanding to this great dilemma of what to eat, how to eat it, how to lose weight, and how to be healthy. Lucia Chavez is our chief nutritionist at Obesity Control Center the Bariatric Surgery Center, International Center of Excellence here in Baja, Mexico. And she takes care of thousands of patients a year, uh, preparing them for surgery, two, three week diet, and then uh, follows them up for years after to see them get to their weight loss goal and become happier, healthier versions of themselves. Lucia, thank you for being here. Oh, well, thank you for those words. <laughs> <laughs> so we are discussing in, in the past episodes about the keto diet. And we said basically the keto diet is a high-fat, low-carb, same-protein um, diet. It's been around for ages, but it's been demonized, especially in the 60s, by this theory that eating fat could cause heart disease. And in fact, it's been completely disproven. So we've discussed a little bit about uh, from a, let's say from a logical standpoint. People are supposed to eat mostly carbs, uh, or the carbs they're supposed to eat are what? Uh, vegetables and fruits. Ve yeah. <laughs> vegetable, vegetables and fruits. Of Leafy course. greens, vegetables and fruits. The, the ones that we want them to be eating. Yes, yeah. vegetables so and fruits. Nothing else, folks. I mean, gra right. grains. Uh, we've already burnt our, our, our let, let's put it this way, we've, we've already done enough damage to our bodies, mm -hmm. so let's not give ourselves permission to be flexible. Just, just listen to us for, for, for this podcast. If you're going to do the keto diet, a keto plan basically is, like I said, it's high fat, low carb, same protein. Today we're going to talk about the fat portion. Mm -hmm. Remember, greens include your leafy greens, your green vegetables, above ground vegetables, mm -hmm. and some fruit in a limited basis. Correct. The other part of this diet is fats. Tell us about the fats. What, what fats are we talking about? We are talking about olive oil, mm -hmm. coconut oil, although it is saturated fat, it has a, a specific fat that is called lauric acid, which helps with ketosis. So that's okay to use. I mean, it's not a saturated fat as those that are manipulated by the food industry. Beautiful. And, and I'm glad you touched upon that point. Guys, oils, vegetable oils, that are really not vegetables or oils or grain oils, have been mm -hmm. studied and the more they study them, the more they're finding that these oils can cause heart disease. Don't believe what they say. There are studies out there and we will expose them on OCCBalance.com, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, the website where you can l listen and actually see these podcasts. And we've got mm -hmm. some great uh, additional information and resources from uh, the scientific community. So oils, limit yourself to olive oil, a good, nice, organic mm -hmm. olive oil, mm -hmm. and maybe some coconut oil. What else? What else should our fat source be. We can include some hemp 
oil and avocado oil, if you want, that should be used cold, preferably for salads, for example. Mm -hmm. And we can also include, of course, butter, as long as, as it comes from a happy cow. And we can include lard, we can include ghee. Okay, so let's stop at the butter part. Now, we do know that the French eat a lot of butter. And again, butter has been demonized. But I'm on a keto plan and I fry my eggs in butter every morning. Mm -hmm. I use the ghee, which is basically the clarified butter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mm -hmm. brown, it doesn't burn. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't cook in high heat anymore, which is That's interesting. Because right. high heat will transform some of the components of food and cause mm -hmm. carcinogens. So don't cook with high heat. I'm sorry, I was the first man to... I mean, I, I cook at home every day. Now, girls, listen in. I do six, seven surgeries a day, and then I go back home <laughs> and cook lunch and dinner for, for, for my daughter and for my wife. And the next morning, I wake up, go to the gym, come back and cook breakfast for them, and then come and do six and seven more surgeries. So, so I'm just giving a shout out to all the Latino men, romantic men, that yes, there, there's something special about us. <laughs> Very. <laughs> okay, now that I've said uh, my piece, uh, <laughs> going back to <laughs> the fats, healthy fats. So you were saying avocado, uh, avocado in its natural state, mm -hmm. uh, of course, butter, and mm -hmm. use it for cooking, use it for frying, use it for, uh, 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 I mean, spectacular. You can do anything with butter, butters. Uh, even your inc coffee. You incredible. Can you, can, coffee. you can put that in your coffee and create <laughs> what they call a, what, what is it, a bulletproof, bulletproof coffee. coffee. What does a bulletproof coffee have? Well, it has about two tablespoons of ghee. Well, that's at least what I use. And one teaspoon of MCT oils, which, is, which are oils that come from coconut. Okay. Now, why are we talking so much about oils? Because the keto diet and a keto plant and a low-carb, high fat plan requires you to eat 50% or more of your energy. 75% Lis Listen again. Mm -hmm. Not 50% of your plate. 50% right. of the energy in a day should come from fat. At least 50%. Mm -hmm. What am I trying mm -hmm. to say here? Now, here's where, we, where it gets a little tricky. Uh, c uh, protein and carbs have three kilocalories per unit, let's say. That, well, it's four, that's fine, yes. So 3.9, right? <laughs> yeah, that's well, right. You're, you're the expert, I'm the surgeon. But <laughs> that's okay, that's, that's fine, yeah. But, but fat has almost three times mm -hmm. the amount of energy in the same package. That's correct. So don't, don't be fooled by saying, oh, I gotta eat 50% of my food from fat. You, well, you're not gonna do yourself any any favors. You want to eat 50% or more of your energy from fat. Mm -hmm. Let's recap again. What is the typical f food uh, uh, foods that have fat in them that are healthy for you? Saturated fats. Go for mm -hmm. it. Well, you can include eggs in, in, into the equation, of course. Saturated and fats? People are resistant to including fats and including the eggs and including the bacon and including the avocado. They are resistant to yeah, and, and let me let me let, let me say categorically, if you are going to eat eggs, please do not eat more than 24 a day, okay? <laughs> I just, I just want to uh, make that clear. And do not, do not throw away the jokes. Okay. That's the most important part of the egg. All right. People are throwing that so, away. And, and I love eggs. I mean, I make huevos rancheros every morning, you know, but no, no more tortilla, but I can, I can stay away from that. So, There so, are some very important vitamins that attach to fat, and those are A, D, E, and K. And actually, vitamin D is not a vitamin. It's a hormone. And if we are not eating our fats from good sources, then we're also avoiding this type of vitamin. And here's the takeaway, guys. If you eat fat, all these saturated fats, and limit your carbs, just like we said, vegetables, leafy greens, a little bit of fruit, and you do it the right way, what you will develop weeks after this program is that you will become a fat burning machine. Your body will not use carbs for energy. It will go into your fat stores and it'll start burning fat. 
It will also reduce your bad cholesterol. It will also increase your good cholesterol. It will also reduce your typical blood sugars. It will also reduce, reduce your uh, um, triglycerides. triglycerides. And it will also reduce blood pressure. So this has been proven. For more information on this, you can go to our website, OCCBalance.com, where we have uh, these videos and where we also have all this scientific backed information, all these studies that are going to help you kind of um, uh, excite you into looking a little bit more into the keto diet. Lucia, I want to thank you for helping us out deciding or deciphering which fats are good for you. Remember, folks, keep away from the vegetable oils. Mm -hmm. Eat everything organic, mm -hmm. right? Uh, eat, fat. eat fat, good fat, and the good fat is saturated fat, and your heart is going to say thank you because in life there are essential proteins, amino acids, there are essential fats, but there are no essential carbs. Carbs are overrated. Let's get rid of them. I want to thank you again, Lucia, for helping us decipher this and your words of wisdom. Thank you. And on a future episode, we will be talking about the last part, which is protein in the keto diet. So, this is OCC Balance Podcast on WS Radio. I am your host, Dr. Adil Ortiz. Till next time.